Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. For those of you returning, welcome back. I am so happy you're here. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Brenda. I am happy you're here as well. Today I am co-hosting in the Jingle All The Way Challenge. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this project, I started out with two of these wreath hangers from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use one of these mop heads from the Dollar Tree. Some jingle bells that I actually got a few years ago from Hobby Lobby. Um, some of these little blocks from the Dollar Tree. This cute little sleigh container from the Dollar Tree. My spray paint I got from Walmart and some uh, different picks and a poinsettia. Oh, and I also uh, printed something out with my Cricut. So I'm going to start off by spray painting that white. And once it was all dry, I took my little saying, which says dashing through the snow. I printed it on my black and white checkered um, vinyl from Dollar Tree. And I wish I would have just used black because it was kind of hard to read. So I did go in off camera and I used a black marker to kind of fill in the white areas. Um, just some of the areas that was kind of hard to read. I filled it in, um, which kind of helped, I think, a little bit. So once I get this um, on there and get my transfer paper off, which it was giving me a hard time. I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with this stuff, you guys. Sometimes I just absolutely love it and it works great. And sometimes I just have to work at it. So once I got that all on, I also had created some gold little bells and then that blue snowflake. But I ended up not liking the blue snowflake. So I ended up um, getting it off. I was able to, to tear it off a little bit and um, add a gold uh, snowflake to it. Then I took those four little cubes and I just used my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and I am just painting the sides. I don't paint the front, I mean the top or the bottom because you're not going to see them. And then I take my wreath hangers and the hanging, the part that you would hang on the door, I straighten it out. Then I take these shears I got from Dollar Tree and I cut them down. I think they were about 10 inches if I remember right. I just made sure they were both the same. Um, length and then I'm just placing them here on the mat um, trying to figure out where exactly they need to be um, because this is going to be my sleigh. So I am just going to use some hot glue on those little blocks and then here I am just placing it. Now after I did this I was like oh man because I'm not going to use hot glue I'm going to use E6000 because I want to make sure that it holds well um, and I was like oh man I should have put this on something because it's right in my way and I can't work on my other projects. So I I figured out how to get it to move. Um, but I did let it sit like overnight to make sure that that glue uh, cured. But while it was um, curing, as you can see, I put some heavy stuff in there just to kind of hold it down. Um, so it would give the a good strong grip. I cut this mop head and you can kind of tell the little bald areas on it and I tried to cut along that line because this stuff does really shed when you cut it. And I was hoping that by doing that it wouldn't shed as bad. So then I just take my hot glue and run a bead of that down the back of it and then I'm just hot gluing that all the way around that sleigh. Then I took some jingle bells and I'm just hot gluing them all around the sleigh as well, right inside of that uh, fur or mop head, whatever you want to call it. And then I took my blue, I'm um, sorry, black paint marker. Um, I thought it needed something. It just seemed too white. And I just outlined it with that marker. Then I stuffed the middle with some bags and I took this square uh, styrofoam and I am going to use that to put in the middle of that sleigh, but I'm just um, putting, I put that poinsettia in the front and then I'm just adding some uh, Christmassy eucalyptus and some other greenery um, and just some other picks all around 
that styrofoam and then that candle I put in the middle. And once I had that all done, I took some of this ribbon. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love this ribbon. It was so pretty. And these are the colors of my living room. So I didn't want this to be on there permanently. So I'm just going to put a little hot glue on the ribbon itself and then just kind of tighten the ribbon to itself. And then I took one of these little um, fabric poinsettias I got from Hobby Lobby and glued that onto that ribbon. Then I decided I was going to make a bow. So I made a bow with that same ribbon and I do my normal uh, awareness ribbon sign scrunch it up in the middle and use a twist tie uh, to scrunch it up and then I decided to take some black checked ribbon from the Dollar Tree and make a second bow and add it to the top and then I just dovetail, dovetail uh, both those ribbon ends and then I hot glue a another bell in the middle and hot glue it to the top there and there it is and I think it came out looking really cute. You'll have to let me know what you think of this in the comment box below. Okay today's challenge is called Jingle All The Way and I am co-hosting with Chantel, who is the host from Crafty Hints. She is such a sweet girl and I just love her to death. And this is just a playlist where we are going to use Jingle Bells. So make sure you check out her channel and check out the description box for the link to see what everybody has created. Here's number two. So for this one, I'm sorry guys, something happened with my recording and I didn't get it all. So I got that sign, that sled sign from Dollar Tree and those bells from Dollar Tree. And here, here I'm just using my heat gun to melt the glue so that I can lift it off because I want to paint the back part of it. But there are some little pins that hold the... Um, these pieces down so you do want to be careful and I did have to use my needle nose pliers to kind of pull them out. So once I got that all done I just painted it all black and then I am just hot gluing the um, the top part of that sled onto that the what do you oh, I can't think of what you call those things oh my goodness the runners there you go and then I am uh, gluing the sled part of that sled to the runners now so I took this um oh what are they garland um garland ties from Dollar Tree and I took two and I just um, mixed them together just to make them look fuller and I am going to end up hot gluing that right on the top and then I took this bush that I got from Family Dollar I absolutely love this pick and I took three of those off and I'm going to hot glue them right like I'm laying them. Now I do end up taking this off because I take some of that black checked ribbon and I um, I went first and spray painted these bells. So once I get the, the stuff off the top, I take them outside, I spray paint them white. So once they were all dry, I used my black check ribbon and strung them through the top part of the bells so that one was kind of on top of the other. Then I um, tied a knot in the ribbon and hot glued it to the top of that sled right under where I'm where I have the greenery right now. And then I just uh, hot glue the greenery over that ribbon so that you cannot see it. And I do use some of the um, this greenery that comes off of the bell. I do get the ribbon part off of it and I do use those. Um, I add them to the rest of the greenery that's on there. And then um, once I have everything hot glued, I do kind of glue the, the bells down as well. I created a saying with my Cricut that says um, Jingle Bells and I put that on the bottom and then I add some uh, these foamy s snowflake stickers that I got from Dollar Tree all around the bottom there as well. And then I also made a bow from some ribbon that I got from uh, Walmart and Dollar Tree. And there it is. And I absolutely love the way this came out. I used some of that black and uh, white checked ribbon to uh, use as a hanger as well. 
So here's DIY number three. I love this one, guys. Actually, I love them all. But <laughs> um, so for this one, I use um, two of these white bells from the Dollar Tree. I use this square block from Dollar Tree and this square wood round from Dollar Tree. So once I get all the tags off, um, I take those bells and I'm just trying to push that middle piece inward because I want to, you know, glue them on top of each other. And there was with that one piece um, sticking out there, it didn't give it enough of a surface. I was concerned it wouldn't stick very well. So I just used some tools to try to help push that middle piece down. And then my husband comes and he pushes it down with his fingers really easily. <laughs> oh my goodness. But at least we got it to work. So I got it all down to where they um, connect better. And then I take my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and I paint both the block and the round piece. Then I took some super glue and I am, this is the gel super glue. I love that stuff, you guys. And I'm just putting it all around the bottom of the first bell. And then I'm taking my accelerant. I press it, um, the bell down onto the wood piece and spray it and hold it for about 10 seconds and it is stuck. Then I do the same thing where I put this on top of that bell and then I am going to, um, put the next bell on top and spray it and hold it down for about 10 seconds. And then I do the same thing on the top, put some super glue on the top of that bell and put the wood piece on top and then spray it and hold it down for about 10 seconds. And this stuff really works. I will have a link to it. Actually, I will have it in my Amazon storefront, which will, there's a link to that in my link tree. So then I took some of that ribbon and I go through and hot glue it to the round piece just to kind of trim it out um, and make it look pretty. If you are new here and you like what you see, I would invite you to become part of our family by hitting that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so YouTube will let you know when I upload a video, which is usually every Wednesday. Unless I am participating in a challenge, then there may be different days that I upload. And then I take this ribbon and I'm making a bow. I just make two loops. And since this ribbon is not, it's like, it's the same, same on each side, you can do it with this, uh, this way. So I just tie a little, you know, tie it together. Like, as you saw, it's probably easier to watch it than listen to me try to explain it. <laughs> I made a little bow that way. Then I took this piece that came off the bell. I was able to get the pine cones off. It had a lot of hot glue, but I was able to get them all off and get the hot glue on and then I was like do I really want to try using hot glue with the metal but I thought oh I'm gonna try it so I used my hot glue and I just held it there for a while and it seems to be staying just fine then I'm gonna add this bow to the middle of that greenery and then I'm gonna take those pine cones that came off of it and put them right in the middle of my bow there and then I'm gonna take the other greenery piece that came off of the bell and I'm um, going to add the pine cones that came off of it to the top piece. And as you see, I took once more of those um, garland ties from Dollar Tree and I put it around the um, candle that I have on top there. And then I'm adding the um, pine cones to that as well. And then I'm just gonna take some more of that ribbon and tie it around the base and hot glue that in place there as well. And you'll have to let me know what you think of this. I absolutely love it. I think it is such a fun idea. Um, I just, I love the way it came out. And uh, I hope you do too. You'll have to let me know what you think. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's just so adorable. Oh, 
Okay, here's DIY number four. So I am a chalk couture designer and I decided to use my um, transfers. So I've got this little embroidery hoop I got from Amazon, the material from Hobby Lobby, and then I'm gonna use the jingle all the way transfer. And these come to where you can cut them apart since they're small, they're called minis. And I'm just gonna cut this jingle all the way uh, transfer off of the big transfer and then once I was done with that I'm just gonna peel the back off and you want to keep the back because once you're done you want to be able to put it back on there after you've cleaned it and then I'm just using um, my mat there to fuzz it although I might not have needed to do that because I am putting it on cloth and cloth you know is kind of fuzzed already so but I wanted to be sure that it didn't stick and and it all works good so I went ahead and fuzzed it with my cloth then I stick it on there and I'm stirring my black paste and I am um, using my squeegee here and I'm going to go over the words with the black paste chalk paste. Now I got a little carried away and got it. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and got it all around um, on the fabric. And so I, I do end up getting to cover it up some, but <laughs> yeah, if you ever do that, just be careful not to get it on your fabric. <laughs> then I take my candy apple red and I'm coloring in the berries and the bow. Then I take my metal green and I color in the leaves and then I take my shimmer gold and color in the bells. And I just love this stuff, you guys. It is awesome. I think I probably could have done a little bit thicker on the leaves um, because there's a couple areas where it's not very thick, but hey, you know, I'm learning as I work with this stuff. And the more I work with it, the more I love it. So, and if you're interested in all about it, you can, you know, ask me about it in the comments. Um, you can check out my link tree. I will have um, a cart in my link tree that has all these items so that if you want to order it, you are welcome to. If you want to add to it, you can. If you want to delete some of it, you can do that as well. So I pull it off and it's all done. I went and cleaned my transfer and then I came through. See, you can see where I added, where I had the, the chalk on the fabric there but that's okay I'm going to cover it up so I put it inside my little embroidery hoop and I tighten it really good and I'll tell you guys I was struggling with tightening it I don't know what the deal was but it did not want to tighten for a while finally got it to tighten um, and then once that was done I just went around with my scissors and I am just going to trim off all the excess um, material there don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and comment. That really does help my channel grow. It lets YouTube know you like the content and it will promote it even more. So then I took some more of that black and white uh, ribbon and I am stringing two bells onto it. And then I'm going to use this as a hanger. So I'm just going to weave that through where that uh, screw is on the hoop. And then I will uh, tie a knot in it and um, that way I have a little hanger. And once I tie that knot, I am going to hot glue the ends to the back of the hoop. So that way I don't want it to continue to move around to where you're always seeing where the knot is. It gives it more of a clean finished look, I guess. So I'm just they're pushing the bells down so that I can have that knot in the back. And then I just glue it to the back. And then I have that bag, if you can see there, a bag, it's got some um, little pine cones and little sprigs of greenery. And I got that from Walmart. And I just took, I think, three of those little sprigs of greenery and I hot glued them right along the front there to help kind of cover where that screw is. And I was loving it. And, but I thought, you know what? I, um, it needs a little bit more. So I make a little jute twine bow and I'm just gonna hot glue that. And that really covers where that screw is. So. Um, once I do that, I thought, okay, I don't like the color of that hoop and I should have known I did this earlier 
to another project. Um, so I went with my black paint pen and I am just coloring it and that kind of helps cover that black uh, chalk that I messed up with too. But there it is. It's really cute. I love it and it looks great on my tree. So you have to let me know which one was your favorite of all of these projects. Make sure you check out the playlist and check out Chantel's channel. I can't wait to see what everyone created. And let me know if you're new here. Say hi. I'd love to um, get to know you a little bit better. And check out my link tree for all my links to my social media, my buy me a coffee, my chocolate tour. And with all that being said, guys, I will be back in, on Wednesday with another video. So we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.